TS Complex, hardest channel on YouTube. Got a little side quest for y'all today. If you tapped into No Jumper, I'm sure you know who Sharp is. I rock with Sharp for the most part. Sometimes the way he be talking to women is kind of crazy. Sometimes it's warranted, other times it's not. But otherwise, I rock with him. I saw this on my timeline, that was kind of interesting. So we gonna see what he's talking about. And no, this one ain't necessarily for sale. But if y'all happen to rock with it, let me know. Might be able to figure something out. But let's not waste no time, let's get this going. What's my thought? on depression i mean uh, the only thing that you can do to really fix that is to be active you got yeah see he already spitting like i know it's easier said than done you know what i'm saying especially depending on what you got going on how deep into the depression you got or how deep into the depression you are you know what i'm saying but if you're like mildly depressed and you can get up and do something, go on, get up and do something. You gotta really get into some shit in order to actually keep yourself kind of away from this. You gotta stay active, feelings. you gotta do something. I, I notice a lot of people are sit back and rot just sitting and you gotta get up and you gotta get active. Sitting in the house, doing the same shit every day, That's day nice. in, day out, you're not changing your scenery. It's just the same thing over and over again. You are gonna find yourself in your head. And when you find yourself in your head, you start thinking bull. So you got to really get up and just be just even if you got to do it by yourself. You'll feel good. You'll feel accomplished about some yeah. things. You won't just be so far off in your head like that. You know? Yes, yeah, he's just said and done, though. You know what I'm saying? Real shit. You got to stay busy. That's what it is, though. And just things for you. It don't have to be where it's just, oh, well, just go to work, be a workhorse, not a workhorse or anything like that, man. Just go do something. Just get. You gotta change up the routine somehow. You know what I'm saying? Get outside. I don't give a f Go meet some people. Go have some conversations. Shit. Go see how much more other people's lives are fucked up. I don't know if you gotta <laughs> sit there and, you know, catch a wave off that one, but I mean, teach their own. Go watch some EDP videos or something like that. Realize that they people got there's a lot of weird ass people out here you know what i'm saying but just get out in the Compared world what you got going on bit. you got to get outside you can't just be sitting in the house all the time or just sitting down that shit ain't gonna work man oh that's facts though man like i i keep saying it's easy to say the dumb but it's true because i mean i got to the point where it was like rock bottom i couldn't even get out the bed you know what I'm saying? i was like missing days of work and shit like that like it's just you killing yourself softly at that point, just sitting. And you always in your head all day. Give a f get your ass up. <laughs> Real talk, don't feel trapped. Get your ass up and change the pace. Even if people, like I said, people that be feeling stuck in certain situations, man, don't. Get your ass up and change that shit. Don't feel like you glued to it. That's why half y'all motherfuckers cry now. <laughs> Straight up. That's why half you motherfuckers cry now. You speak a fact, though. Because you feel so glued. Like, what? You just don't know my story, no? It's like the harsh reality of it. You know what I'm saying? I, I got to say how this can come across as kind of like messed up and stuff. But this is like, this is oh, real. Nobody know your story. Only you know your story. So only you can fix it. Straight up. You absolutely mother right don't nobody know your story but guess what you do and only you can fix it you just got to get down to that why you know what i'm saying you got to understand why like you can understand how you're feeling but you got to understand why you're feeling that way and i know that sounds cliche but once you actually start thinking about it you start to kind of figure stuff out no crying in the fourth quarter now Keeping it real. Come on. Can't call me a lie on that one. <laughs> we got really going. Oh, he's spitting. You don't know my problems. You don't know my struggle. You know what? We don't. <laughs> but what I do know is you control the destiny of it all to fix it. Yeah. <laughs> I'd love to see the comments on this because I mean, they're just like, oh, well, you, you don't know what I'm going to have to go through. 
You can easily play uh, Devil's Advocate to this, but you speak of facts, though. Once he gets down to it. If you need new material in your life, all you got to do is let go of the old cloth. Get rid of that shit. Mm -hmm. You ain't going to have no choice but to go get some new shit. For sure. <laughs> Really went up to you, boy. Is he streaming? In this? If you need some new material, some new cloth, right? You got to be willing to let go of the old shit. You do. It's so hard to don't, do. Man. They don't want to let go of the old shit. It's difficult, man. Real difficult. That's how you do it. So afraid that you ain't never going to get it again. Don't worry, every a lot of people been there. So worried you ain't never gonna get it again that you hold on to bullshit and drag. You know what's gonna piss you off the most through it is that when you let it go, you see your life start flourishing. You start seeing that you get more. You start having more. You start having an abundance. It's because you're starting to find the growth. You're gonna be mad at yourself that you sat there and you spent all that motherfucking time being miserable. Well, this is facts. I, mean, I spent years in my head, like literal years in my head. I think part of it was like OCD or something like that, because like. I'd be like really thinking deep for real. If I can't find answers to some of the questions that I got, then my mind just keeps asking, keeps asking, keeps asking. And I eventually just like go crazy. And it's not really easy to like let go of stuff like that. Not as easy as he's making it out to be, I'll say that. But I mean, he's not wrong. You spent all your time sitting there being miserable as fuck in a situation you probably didn't even want to be in. Yeah, I might just make a cut right there because it started auto playing for whatever reason. But I mean, I can't say he was wrong. Is everything that he said very easy to do? Not necessarily, but it does take time for the most part. My advice would be very similar to his. You know what I'm saying? Just like get out and get active. Just do whatever it is that makes you feel happy. Do it like you got to put yourself first. A lot of people don't want to hear that. A lot of people don't want to do that, but you got to put yourself first especially whenever you're going through stuff like that. But then stuff like addiction and stuff like that comes into play. If you can't get out that addiction, you're naturally going to kind of be depressed if that's one of the symptoms that you're facing. You know what I mean? Like, I can't speak too much on the addiction part because I haven't dealt with that personally. But I've seen how other people deal with it. And I know that addiction kind of just like sucks you in sometimes. But you got to do whatever it is you got to do to get up out of that. I know it's not easy. I'm not trying to make it out to be easy. But you just got to take small steps. Even getting out the bed is a first step. You just gotta look at that as a positive note. But those negative feelings, all I gotta say for you is figure out why you're feeling those negative feelings. That would be your true first step to get up out of that. But let me know what y'all think of this. You know what I'm saying? Let me know if he was spitting. Let me know if y'all disagree. Let's talk about it.